This is the HyperTuff Indoor Timer, model number HTH1006. This is how it works. When it comes out of the box, all of these buttons will be down. There is a slight glitch. If you find a button will not lift up or will not push down, dial it slightly to the right and then try lifting it up or pushing it down and it should work. So when you get it out of the box, all of the buttons are down and you have to lift every single one of them up. So I'm going to pause it and lift and lift every one of them up. As you can see, uh, they are a little bit tough to lift up, so you might want to use a butter knife or something if your if your hands hurt while you're doing it. It's important to make sure that every single button is lifted up fully and that there are no um, slightly down buttons just to be sure that your timer is accurate. So there are a couple of things with this timer that threw me off. The dark and the light are opposite sort of or contrary just juxtaposition to the 12 p.m. and the 12 a.m. where they're making an assumption that um, at after 12 p.m. it reaches 6 p.m. and it starts to get dark. Well, sometimes it doesn't get dark until 9. So that can throw you off a bit. Just disregard the light and the white and the black area. Just disregard this. It, and I'll, it'll make it so much simpler for you. Also, the arrow button, these arrows threw me off. It's only for the purpose of dialing it clockwise, because it only dials clockwise but you have to set the time counterclockwise by pushing the buttons down in the clock counterclockwise direction to get your time correct. So, to start off, make sure that your selection switch for outlet on and timer on is on the the top, not the sides or bottom. Keep it on the top. That simplifies things. If you're going to override it, you can select outlet on. That way, if you need your item on immediately, you can deselect the timer without disturbing your selected times. So, for setting it, it's best to leave your timer on because you'll probably want that selection when you plug it in. Next, dial it counterclockwise until the 12 a.m. comes to the top. This way. So you want 12 a.m. straight up, just like as if it was like the 12 shows up on a real clock. You want the 12 a.m. 12 at the top. That's why you put your button on top so that you have some place to direct yourself about what is top. Okay, I know that doesn't make sense, but bear with me. You'll see it all does. This will make it easy for you. So, to select what time you want it to come on at, you need to lift the buttons that correspond to the time you want it to come on. 
For example, if at if after 12 a.m. you want your timer to come on at five from five to eight, you need to push down your buttons from five to eight and say it's a candle warmer or something or a lamp and you want it to come on again because at eight o'clock it'll go off with these buttons that are up. The up means off, the down means on. So say at 4 o'clock p.m., p.m., 1 p.m., that's 12 p.m., 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m., you want your item to come on again until 7. So you'll select all the buttons and push them down from 4 to 7 p.m. Now let's say at midnight, just just for hypothetical reasons, you know, I'm going to explain that you can have more than just two settings. You can have as many as you want. You can have it come on for an hour, off for an hour, on for an hour, off for an hour. Um, one video explained that these little buttons are increments of 30 minutes, so that was helpful. Um, but say you just want it to come on at 12 a.m. for just 30 minutes. And at, let's say, 1 p.m. for just 30 minutes, from 1 to 1.30. So you'll push that little button down. And then, so you've got your time all selected, and your timer is selected. Now is the time to plug your item in, and then... You're not gonna you're not gonna set what time it is now just yet. Get your item plugged in and plug in the unit and then select what time it is now. So let's say it's 3 p.m. We're gonna go past the a.m. to the p.m. and we're gonna dial it clockwise to the 3 p.m. Okay? If it's 3, like 20 or so, you'll try to get it in between. They're really micro little notches inside. So you can set it pretty close to 310, 315, 320, 330, and whatever time you want it. And, and then, um, Make sure that your item switch, if there's a switch on it, like if it's a lamp, turn the switch on so you're ready to go. Your time now is set. The hours you want it to come on are set. Your timer up top is set to on. If you want to override that for any moment at any time, you can slide it over to the outlet on and your item will come on immediately if it's not already on um, via the timer and leave it on your on timer on setting and you're set to go.